is Mama. Mama, or Mnet Asian Music Awards, is one of the biggest K-pop award ceremonies that takes place in December of every year, hosted by Mnet or CJ Entertainment. This year, Mama will take place on Sunday, December 6th. Because of the coronavirus this year, Mama will be held in a contact-free, socially distant manner. However, they'll feature cool new technology to augment the experience for many audiences tuning in globally. Now let's discuss how I would vote for each of the 18 categories. Starting with Artist of the Year, Orei Kasu. I try to think about who was the most popular, accomplished, and influential artist in 2020. Blackpink released their first full album. They were active from How You Like That in June, Ice Cream in August, Love Sick Girls in October. They launched a Netflix documentary detailing their career. BTS released Map of the Soul 7 with On in February, then Dynamite in August, then B in November. They swept international awards including MTV, Billboard Music Awards, and many more. I'm gonna vote for Blackpink because of their high quality full album, robust activities, and the special increase in popularity this year. Song of the Year, Ore Dore. Tsuko's Any Song started the TikTok challenge in K-pop. It was one of the most played tunes in the first half of 2020 on social media and opened a whole new trend. BTS's Dynamite has the vocals, the dance, and the catchiness of K-pop. It appealed to a truly global audience, I'll pick Tsuko's Any Song because anyone in K-pop will recognize the iconic piano intro and the TikTok challenge isn't going away anytime soon. Worldwide Fan Choice Award Mama awards the top 10 votes for this one, so you can vote for your favorite group here. But I'm gonna vote for Sunmi as a 13-year-old wonderful. Hashtag OG K-pop. Best New Male Artist Namja Shininsang Mama's New Artist Award almost always goes to a group from a big entertainment company. Treasure from YG did a phenomenal job with their three-part debut, Boy, I Love You, Mmm. And their fans waited a year and a half since their debut survival show, Treasure, finished in January of 2019, so I can see why they would win. Best New Female Artist, Yeoja Shininsang. This year, we have a unique situation where SM, YG, or JYP didn't debut a girl group in time, so we have groups from small to medium-sized companies competing. Signature had the most promotions, Mati shows a lot of potential, and Secret Number is made up of members from diverse backgrounds, so it's a close call. I'll vote for Mati because I'm most familiar with her journey. Best Male Group, Namja Kurupsang no male group comes close to BTS's status in terms of international popularity and record-breaking accomplishments. I also think all seven members staying together for seven plus years is an accomplishment in itself. Best female group, Yeoja Kurupsang. This was the toughest choice because I love K-pop girl groups, but I chose Blackpink because of the album. Best male artist, Namja Kazusang. Baekhyun's 2020 album recorded one of the best album sales for a K-pop male idol, earning the title Million Seller. Best Female Artist, Yeoja Kasusang. Shout out to IU for writing her own song, Pluming. Shout out to Sunmi for also writing her own song, Purap Bipam. Taehyung's Spark was a hit, Hwasa's Maria was a hit. So much talent. But I'm gonna pick Jungha, who incorporated Voguing in Stayed Tonight. Samba and play, and just raising the bar for a K-pop stage. Best dance performance solo. Taemin deserves a mention for artistic mastery of his dance, but I'll vote for Hwaza because her dance is not only great to watch, but it's catchy that everyone can remember and try it. I think that's an important component of a K-pop dance. Best dance performance male group. Seventeen's Left and Right deserves a shout out. They use the large number of members to their advantage and create a musical-like performance on stage. BTS's dance to Dynamite wins for the perfect combination between artistic mastery, on sync, and catchiness for the fans to try. Best Dance Performance Female Group Itzy's Wannabe has the perfect combination for a K-pop dance performance. JYP Entertainment is very good at this, from Tell Me, Nobody, TT, Likey, Tala Tala, and Wannabe. There's a highlight move that everyone knows. Best Vocal Performance Solo Have you heard IU's live performance? She consistently sounds just like the recording. Best Vocal Performance Group Mamamoo is a dream team that can sing really well, but not just ballads, but all types of diverse tempo and music. Best Band Performance 
I had to look up and listen to all these songs before coming to a conclusion that I liked N Flying's Oh Really the most. Best hip hop and urban music. Tsuko's Any Song should get some type of award. If it's not the song of the year, then maybe this one. But I know Yihai's voice and message behind Holo really resonated with me this year. Best collaboration. JYP and Sunmi's When We Disco brought back memories from 2008, the golden age of K-pop in my opinion. There's so much funk and background story behind the song, so you should definitely listen to it. Best OST. Kaho's start from Itaewon class suited the vibe of the drama and also helped with its popularity. Who would you vote for? Which stage are you looking forward to the most? Let me know in the comments below. My name is K-pop Sociology, promoting the critical consumption of K-pop. Remember to like and subscribe for more.